hey everyone it's 2024 and we're back to doing videos from my car but sometimes i have to be at meetings or to be in places super early in the morning so i leave home very early and if i manage to arrive on time and i have a few minutes to spare then i decide to record the bulletin in case i get caught up on fridays as i tend to do so this week i decided to speak to you about two articles that we published um this monday and the monday before we're basically in our marketing monday articles we were talking about trends digital marketing trends that we expect to see in 2024 so i'm going to refer back to these two articles and i suggest that you go to our website or to our social media channels and you look for our marketing monday article that we published this week or the marketing monday article that we published last week because over there you're going to find the full context of everything that, that i'm going to talk about in this bulletin but since it's still more or less the beginning of the year and at the beginning of the year i think many of us in digital marketing tend to speak about trends our expectations for the year what perhaps one can imagine what can one expect to see um, when it comes to digital marketing in these coming months so this is what i'm going to talk to you about today and obviously because we deal a lot with social media marketing and we help a lot of schools and a lot of service providers with their social social media marketing strategy one of the things that we always keep an open eye for is social media marketing trends and one of the main things that i am personally very happy to see happening in 2024 because it is something that um, i believe in a lot it is a platform that i like using in fact in 2024 one expects to see a rise in the use of linkedin so those of you who are not on linkedin yet make sure that you get on this platform as soon as possible and as i always say i don't want to take up too much of your time over here but if you want tips on how to use linkedin on how to connect with people on how to build your network in linkedin do drop me a line and i'm very happy to guide you when it comes to that so linkedin is something that you should um, watch out for you should take a look at throughout the coming year because it is something that we're expecting to see a rise in the number of people who use it especially in our industry obviously we operate in lo a lot in b2b marketing service providers work with schools work with agents that's b2b schools work with agents agents work with schools so that is a lot of b2b traffic going on when it comes to social media there is no better platform than linkedin for b2b marketing so definitely take a look at that something that started in 2023 and there was no doubt that it would carry on in 2024 is ai ai is something that we expect to continue seeing a rise in throughout the coming 12 months and it's important that whereas last year there was a lot of awareness as to what artificial intelligence is um, what kinds of artificial intelligences there are around perhaps new artificial intelligence trends were developed throughout 2023 which have been made available for us i think 2024 is all about increasing and enhancing that knowledge so that we don't just know about the existing ai but we actually start making good use of it and we start using this artificial intelligence not because everybody else uses it but we actually use it in an intelligent way so that it benefits us primarily so that is the second trend that i wanted to talk to you about and in fact when it comes to social media marketing and linkedin you are going to find these two trends featured predominantly in the article that was published two mondays ago so now going back to the article that we published this monday another area which i like this is lynn's area more than mine lynn is more of an expert so to speak in this than i am but um 
obviously I have also learned a lot from her <laughs> as we as we work on client projects and that is SEO search engine optimization is something that has been there for a while it is something that we have personally spoken about a lot during 2023 and even before that um, because SEO has always been something that has helped your websites rank higher and obviously when it comes to people searching on Google and on other search engines, it's very important that your website ranks as high up as possible because as we all know, not everybody, well actually nobody <laughs> has the time to stay looking on the fifth and sixth pages of, of Google. So it's very important that your website and your business features as high up as possible and SEO is the way to get that done primarily. However, when it comes to SEO and SEO trends in 2024, 2024 is going to be all about UX. In other words, user experience. So we're looking at the quality of the experience. We're looking at the quality of the service that you provide through your website. And there are four words which we mentioned in our article, but I also want to mention them over here to stress the importance of this. And when it comes to SEO and user experience, we are looking at four important key points. Mainly, your website needs to give the user a good experience. Your website needs to show that you are experts in your field. Your website needs to show that you have a certain authority in your field as well. And finally, and in my opinion, most importantly, your website needs to inspire trust. The people who land on your website need to feel like they can trust you. If your website can deliver on these four points, then rest assured that together with all the other things that we have spoken about in the past, but your website will start to rank much higher on Google. So that is my third point and finally and this is perhaps my favorite point of them all and it is something that as we were talking and as we were planning content for this coming year we started looking at perhaps what are those trends which we have seen on the rise is the importance of sustainability as you know, a lot of things are happening in the world and thankfully it seems to be that people are now more aware of environmental issues. They are more aware of um, problems, challenges. Let's, I don't like to talk of problems, but challenges. Challenges that the world is facing, especially when it comes to the environment. And one of the things that we are noticing, especially when it comes to student bookings, it's that students tend to prefer to book schools, to attend schools, which have some kind of a sustainability plan in action. So it is very important that apart from a presence on your social media, apart from the use of AI and apart from an investment in your SEO, you also highlight on your website your sustainability action points. And in this regard, and I conclude with this today, do follow our, our um, social media channels and our website because every Wednesday we have started publishing a Sustainable Wednesday post. And basically, together with our partners, Green Standard Schools, every Wednesday we bring to you tips on things that you can do in order to make your schools more sustainable, in order to operate and run more sustainable businesses. So with these four trends, I leave you with this and I'll see you again next week for another edition of the Schools and Asians Bulletin. Take care, everyone.